Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about writing the quadratic equation given the sum and product. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this will be our format class or the equation that would be x squared minus quantity the sum times x plus quantity the product equals 0. So let's start with number 1. So once again, copy x squared minus then quantity your sum. We have given sum negative 7. So substitute the value of negative 7 from this equation for the sum. So negative 7 close parenthesis times x plus parenthesis the product is negative 18. So product plus is negative 18. Just simply substitute this value from the product which is negative 18. Close parenthesis equals 0. Alright, and then copy x squared. Then multiply the, sin the sines class, negative times negative. So you multiply this one. Once again, negative times negative, that would be positive. Then copy 7. Alright, negative times negative 7, that would be positive 7. Times x, simply copy x. 7 times x, that is 7x. Okay, so once again, negative times negative is positive. Negative times negative 7, that's positive 7. Times x, that would be positive 7x. Then you multiply this signs, positive times negative. So once again, plus in multiplication, unlike signs, the answer is always negative. So positive times negative, that would be negative 18 equals 0. That's it, plus. That's the answer for number 1. Easy, right? For number 1. So we have x squared plus 7x minus 18 equals 0. Alright, so let's try number 2. So we have x squared minus the equation. So once again, x squared minus the sum is positive 6. So 6 then close parenthesis times x. Plus, the product is positive 8. So, the product is positive 8. Right? Open parenthesis, then close parenthesis. Open parenthesis 8, then close parenthesis equals 0. Alright, and then you simplify. Simplify class. This will be x squared. Then negative times positive. That is negative. Then copy 6. 6 times x, that will be 6x class. You multiply this one. 6 times x, that would be 6x negative 6x. So once again, negative times positive, negative times positive 6, that would be negative 6, times x, that would be negative 6x. Then positive times positive 8, this is positive, then positive 8, that would be positive, then copy 8, equals 0. That's it, because that's the answer for number 2. Easy, right, for the sum and product? So we have x squared minus 6x plus 8, equals 0. Alright, that's the quadratic equation class for numbers 1 and 2. Let's try number 3. Now, this will be quite tricky since the given equations are fractions. The given sum and product are fractions. So, let me explain this one. So, once again, copy the equation x squared minus the sum is 10 over 3. 10 over 3 times x. Okay, times x. Plus, the product is negative 8 over 3 equals 0. So, simplify this one first. This will be x squared. Negative times positive is negative. 10 over 3 times x, simply copy. 10 over 3x. Once again, negative times positive is negative. Okay, this is positive 10 over 3. So, negative times positive 10 over 3, that's negative 10 over 3, times x, simply copy x. And then this one, neg positive times negative. Once again, this is positive times negative 8 over 3. So, positive times negative, that would be negative 8 over 3 equals 0. Alright, now, this is not yet our final answer class. Since we have fractions, we need to eliminate the denominators. And how to eliminate the denominators? So we need to multiply this one by 3. Okay, you multiply this one by 3. Because 3, when you multiply 3 by this equation, you can cancel this out. Let me explain this to you. So you multiply this one by 3. 
so that we can eliminate this one. Alright, let me explain this one. So this is multiply it by 3. Why is that, sir? Why do we need to multiply it by 3? Because we can cancel this out, 3 and 3. Because 3 divided by 3, that's equals to 1. So you can cancel this out. Alright, so multiply it by 3. So this will be, multiply it by 3 here. So this will be 3 times x squared, that would be 3x squared. Then 3 times negative 10 over 3x. So let me distribute this one plus. So you multiply this one in here. So 3 times 3x squared. Okay, let me do it one by one plus for you to really understand this one. So 3 times x squared. Alright. Then copy minus sign minus 3 times this one. 3 times 10 over 3x minus this one. You multiply this one. 3 times 8 over 3 equals, multiply this one, 0 times 3. Alright, I distributed this one class. 3 times this one. 3 times negative 10 over 3x. Then 3 times negative 8 over 3. I distributed this one class. So, this will be 3 times x squared, that would be 3x squared. Then, negative 3 times 10 over 3. Okay, so negative 3 times 10 over 3. You can actually cancel this one class. Okay, because 3 divided by 3 is 1. Or you can, if you want the long method, go ahead. You can multiply this one. Long method, 3, negative 3 times 10 over 3. Understood that there's one here. So, negative 3 times 10, that's negative 30. 1 times 3 is 3. Negative 30 divided by 3, that's negative 10. But it will take time, just. Okay, it will take time. So, the thing that you will do, just simply cancel this out. Because 3 divided by 3 is 1. You can cancel this out. Alright, cancel this out. And the remaining will be negative 10x. Same with this one, class. You can cancel this out. And the remaining will be negative 8. And 0 times 3 is 0. Alright, and that's it. Class. This is your answer for number 3. So we just simply multiply it by 3 so that we can eliminate the denominators. They have the same denominators, class, which is 3. That's why we multiply it by 3. Now, what if they, they, they don't have the same denominator? Example for number 4. They don't have the same denominator. So let's explain number 4 class. So let me write the answer here. 3x squared minus 10x minus 8 equals 0. Alright, so let's answer number 4. So what if they don't have the same denominator, sir? Okay, let me explain that to you. So this will be x squared minus the sum. So parenthesis, open parenthesis sum is 3 over 2 times x plus open parenthesis 2 over 5 for the product equals 0. So simplify this one first. This will be x squared. Alright, negative times positive is negative. Copy 3 over 2 times x. So neg that would be negative 3 over 2x. So once again, negative times positive is negative. So, negative times positive 3 over 2, that's negative 3 over 2, times x, that would be negative 3 over 2x. Then, positive times positive, that's positive 2 over 5, equals 0. Alright, now this time class, we need to eliminate the denominators. Now, sir, they don't have the same denominators. A while ago, they have the same denominators, which is 3. We just multiply both sides by 3. Now, what if they don't have the same denominators? So the thing that you will do, class, you need to find the LCM. What would be that number that we will be multiplying in this scenario so that we can eliminate the denominators? Therefore, we need to find the LCM. Do you still remember, class, the LCM? The least common multiple. How to find that? How to find the least common multiple? Now, during your elementary years, if you want to get the multiples of 2, you will do it like this, right? 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, and so on. Multiples of 5, there will be 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. So, what would be the least common multiple? What would be the least number that is common to 2 and 5? 
of course, there would be 10, right? So therefore, we need to multiply both sides by 10 because we can divide 10 by 2 and we can divide 10 by 5. That's it, class. You find the LCM if the denominators are not the same. But it will take time, class, if you do it this way. So the thing that you will do, class, you think of this way. What would be the least number that we can divide that number by 2 and 5? Of course, there would be 10. Be why is that, sir? Why do we need to do that? Because we need to eliminate the denominators. So we multiply this one by 10. Okay, once again, no need to write the least common multiple. Just think it this way. What would be the least number that we can divide it by 2 and 5? Of course, that would be 10. Okay, 10 divided by 2 is 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So therefore, we will be using 10. Then we distribute. Alright. So we distribute this one. This will be 10 times x squared. Copy minus sign. Minus 10 times this one. 3 over 2x. Copy plus sign, plus 10, distribute this one, 10 times this one, 10 times 2 over 5 equals, you multiply this one, 0 times 10. Alright, so this will be 10 times x squared, that would be 10x squared, negative 10 times 3 over 2x, so you can cancel this out, you can divide this one, 10 divided by 2, so this will be 5, the remaining will be 5. So once again, negative 10 times 3 over 2. You can divide this 1 plus. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay, you can do it this way. So this will be this one. You can divide it this one. 10 divided by 5. This will be 2. Alright, and this will be 1. So therefore, no need to write 1 here. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So the final answer... So multiply 5, negative 5 times 3, that would be negative 15x, copy x. Then 2 times 2, that's positive 4. 0 times 10 is 0. That's it, class. That's your answer, class. Okay, so 10x squared. Okay, let me write the answer. 10x squared minus 15x plus 4 equals 0. That's the answer for number 4, class. Easy, right? So this will be easy to find the equation given the seven product. So that's the thing that you will do. Once again, if they don't have the same denominators, go ahead, you find the LCM, the least common multiple. All right, so you try to answer this one class and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let me check if you really understand our topic. So write the quadratic equation. The sum is negative one over six and the product is negative one over three. Now, what would be the LCM class? They don't have the same denominators. What would be the LCM? Is it, is it 6, 12, or 18? Of course, the LCM, that would be the least common multiple that you can divide by 6 and by 3, that would be 6. So you try this one class and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Once again, this is Teacher MJ and I hope you learned something new today. If you learned something new today, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye.